Hi, this is Gabe with HTP and Late Bloomer Innovation and Design. We're going to go over our welded kit by 42Fab and basically this is what we're going to get. Um, I'm going to show you how to put it together. We briefly went over it in the class, but I'm going to kind of teach you how to put it together so that you can get good results. So we'll open up your kit and you'll notice you have these pentagons. Um, you are going to have six of these guys. You're also going to have triangles and you're going to have five of the triangles in your kit. So next I'm going to kind of go over how to tack it, how to arrange it so that you can get really good results. One thing I do want to let you know, these have been prepped, but you are going to want to at least use a Scotch-Brite pad to clean up the edges. If you look on the very edge you still have your uh, plasma cutter marks so you want to either take these guys down a little bit with your scotch bright so I'm going to just do quickly this guy um, just take it down so it's not shiny you want to dull it out and then we're going to go ahead and weld it so next up I'm going to show you how to tack it ideally what you want to do is have this so you can do one of two ways you can either have it on your table, do a tack right in the middle, and bend it into whatever position you want it. By doing it that way, you may have a little bit of gaps, but we'll go over what you can get around on that. Or the other way you can do it is hold it, which will be more of an advanced technique because you won't have any filler rod. And the last way would be to put tape over it, then tack it and basically tape your little guy together. Um, and this one, just so that we can get an idea, I'm just gonna put a tack in the middle, I'm gonna bend it, and we're gonna get the general outline of how it's gonna look. So you see, I didn't really penetrate too hard into it, and that's why it cracked. So this one, I'm actually gonna put a little more filler in it to keep it. So now you see that the tack itself, it's creating that gap. The way you can do this, push on it and tack it at the same time. So on this one, I would just use tape, and tape will give you the flexibility to maneuver it. This one is the one that we tacked. We bent it in place, and what we're gonna do is the five sides um, are all gonna meet. That's what you don't want. So that one's the tack that we just broke. And when I lay it down here, you can see I got that giant gap. So a cool trick that you can do is put a tack here. As you can see, it's cold. Line this up, and then you're going to fire again. So all you're going to have to do is go a little hot over that one and it should melt in. So this is what it's going to look like essentially. This is going to what it's going to look like when you get it. Um, obviously with a little more prep on my part, um, facing the edges, 
and taking a little more time I would get our gaps a little closer um, but these are pretty good and if you have a little gap it's gonna give you a little trouble and that's a learning experience as well so this is our outline of the bowl our last pieces are gonna be right here so then your tacks will be on this section so normally if I were going to do this that's exactly how I would tack without filler and just use the edge to fall in but then I would go back on my inside and put a tack here with filler just to strengthen it crazy thing about this is certain areas um, where there's bigger gaps you know like this section here you'll look at it and wonder you know how how we're going to be able to get around that um, so all it is going to be a little heat input and less filler that's all it's going to do to to make that look even so you're able to get around it and voila, we have a fully tacked together piece. Um, what I would do lastly is just grab your acetone, wait till this cools down, go ahead and clean this guy up. It's final, final uh, ride. Um, the way I welded it is I started on a corner here, work my way around and made all my runs go the same way so I went here this way here this way here this way then I went towards the inside on every single run so all my termination points were on these corners and what's a good thing to do um, would be add another tack on this 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 guy here right on that corner where the three meet burn it in pretty good and that'll be your termination point um, what I did is welded all the inside then welded all the outside and then I edge welded all the way around and then you can put it on a belt sander to make it super flat on the top and this is what it looks like tacked so this one is tacked up this is the one that I completed um, all the inside is welded and then if you notice all the welds are going in the same direction that's just me being me um, and I terminated on all the very ends and then I edge welded the very top and basically what that does is just gets you more welding time which is going to be very critical for you when you get into your welding 